How's it going guys, Gilton here and welcome back to Guildcraft 2.0. Now we are in the double digits of Guildcraft now, we're in episode 10. Um, so we've finally got there, double digits, I guess the next achievement or goal is episode 20 because that's 10 off. But, we're finally here and um, I've done a little bit off camera, not too much, but I need to uh, talk to you guys. So I've updated the, uh, the things to do board. Um, we need to kill a ghast this episode. Because uh, I really want to make some sort of way to fly. And I explained that last episode. But I want to make a sigil. Um, like a flying sigil. I want to make a runic altar. So hopefully my Britannia uh, mad, uh, mana has filled up. Uh, I also want to show off my collection of witches. Now it sounds really weird. But uh, off camera I've been making these uh, safari nets. They're really quite easy to make. It's just slime ball, string, leather. And I've been collecting these witches. Which I'm going to use to produce unlimited life points for blood magic that's right stick my helmet back on um if i show you my uh life points is currently six uh 600 sorry off 10,000, which was our limit but if you look at the top left hand corner just up here it's almost halfway so i think my limit now that i've got the second tier orb has increased from 10,000 to 20,000. and i know it's off camera and i thought i would um just explain it um, also, I need to show you guys a uh, little. Oh, I forgot his name, Little Timmy. Is it Little Timmy? I'm pretty sure it's Little Timmy. Uh, I need to show you guys Little Timmy because he has grown so much. Um, I mean, oh, oh, there we go. Look at him. He's he's like lost a bit of health, but that's because I haven't fed him. <laughs> I've been adding food into here, but he just doesn't want to. Uh, come on, eat out of the feeder. Because I, I looked on the oh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I look, I looked on the, uh, I looked on the wiki, and it said that their head need to be within like three blocks. But I don't know if this feeder works with a Gallimimus. So, hang on, let's just have a look. Four days old, half. Oh, he's actually quite. He's, <laughs> he's actually quite low on hunger. So I'm gonna real quickly feed him, and then I'll be back in a sec. Oh, uh, we've got plenty of potatoes, but I don't want to feed him potatoes because I want to get a whole field of these potatoes. I also need to fix up this um, garden. Um, it's part of the castle which I need to fix up. It's got holes everywhere, so I'm going to work on that when I work on the castle. But I'm going to feed this guy uh, some wheat, uh, some bread actually. So I'm going to harvest all the wheat which is ready, and I'm going to make some bread for him. All right, let's see if I can get all the way down. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's just drop down here. There we go. And at the end of the episode, of course, I have a uh, another statue to add to a Hall of Heroes. So let's make that. Have I got any more? Oh, I've got a potato in there. Any more wheat? No. Okay, so we only got four pieces of bread. Damn. I've... Feeding a dinosaur is crazy nowadays. It is absolutely crazy. All right. Here you go. There we go. Back up to full hunger. Oh, he, he's still a hundred off hunger, but I'm gonna have to make sure just to feed him. There we go. Right. Okay. So let's move on to Batania. So I think I have enough to make a runic altar now. Uh, not too sure how runic altar works, and I don't know its purpose, but I'm recommended to build one. So I'm gonna use one diamond. Uh, and is there anything else I'll need when I go there? Don't think so. Right, okay. Sorry, I'm getting emails in the background so much. Um, right, so let's go over to here. Oh, look at that. It's, oh my god, it's filled up so much. Oh, I've got my wand on me. Oh, it's almost just over halfway. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Now, can we do it? <gasps> yes! We can do a diamond. Right, I'm going to throw it on. <gasps> yes, a mana diamond. There we go. And how much did that use? Did that use up a lot of mana? It was barely anything. Barely anything. Okay, sweet. So, if I remember correctly, let's see if I can just do this off the bat. Oh, a runic altar. There we go. Sweet. So, we're making our way up. Um, oh, my, my mouse has stopped working. <laughs> um, uh, my... <laughs> Oh god! 
<laughs> what the hell is happening? There we go. My mouse is working. What? My mouse just suddenly stopped working. But <laughs> we're back. Um, and I also need to eat as well. All right. I think it was because... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, so we got ourselves a runic altar here. Uh, I'm just going to bring up... Oh. There we go. Uh, I'm going to place it down like that. Uh, I'm going to put this nightshade, I don't know, like over here. Like so. Should I redirect this uh, this mana spreader? I could re... Because this needs mana, I believe. So, oh. Uh, just... Where are you? <laughs> I Oh my god, this is so hard to like direct. Oh god. Hang on. There we go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm going to spend all day trying to do this. Oh, almost. Hang on. I might have to break this flower. Right, okay. Does it need to go down or does it need to go up? I think it might have to go up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, sweet. Okay. I'm going to put this day bloom back and we've got ourselves a really good altar. Woo! Okay, so what can we do with a runic altar? So we've made one. Um, that's a recipe for elements. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. What's after it? Wonder Forest, Black Locust. Oh, okay. I think I think now I can start moving on to bubbles and accessories. Now I want to make the sonj slash slash stash. Dyslexia. Um, see, it needs these runes, and if I go on to too many items and type in rune, it shows them here, and it says a runic altar. So I think I need to throw all these items into a runic altar with this much mana to produce that type of rune. And obviously, each different rune has different recipes. So, um, so yeah, next episode, I think I'm going to try and um, work out <laughs> how this works. I, it doesn't tell. Oh, oh, sh balls! Give me that back. Okay, there we go. Um, it doesn't tell me like how much mana it has. I, I think it just needs to fill up over time. But we're. Oh, wait, is that actually going into that? It's not actually sending the mana to that, but it does say it is linked to that. I'm going to have to read the wiki to make sure I'm doing this all right, because I could be doing it horribly, horribly wrong. Um, but anyway, let's get back to bed, and um, let's get back to bed. Make sure it's day before I do anything else, because I don't want any creeps coming over and creeping on me. Uh, and then we shall progress a little bit further with blood magic. Oh, oh there's another witch there. There's another witch. Uh, witch. Right. Okay. Um... Um, have I got any strength? Yes. Have I got any lever? Lever, 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 lever. <sighs> right, okay, I'm going to go look for lever and I'll be back in a second. Alright, so I found some, uh, I found some lever. Uh, I'm going to make myself a safari net. And I'm going to catch this witch. Boop! Got her. Right, now this, uh, the important thing is is that I oh, it's a single use, so once I put her back down, I can't pick her back up. Now, I have tried using the golden lasso, but um, but I don't think it can pick up like hostile mobs, which kind of sucks, but yeah. Um, I just used up all my strength, didn't I? Oh, I, need, I needed to use that for a bow. Oh, no, I've got more strength here. Okay, that's fine. Plenty of arrows. And we are going to go into the nether to get us uh, to kill ourselves a ghast. Uh, I need some wood. Get some sticks. I think. Can I remember recipe? Hey, there we go. Awesome. So let's head into the nether and see if we can get ourselves a ghast here. Right, here we go. Oh, oh, pig man. I don't want you, sir. I'm looking for a ghast. Now, it'd be a lot easier if I could fly, but I might have to... Oh, there's a 
new version of that mod. Right, okay, so I need to post a portal. Uh, just add that. There we go. And that's basically just in case I get lost. Um, but I need to look for a ghast. Okay. Ghasts normally spawn in like big open areas, so I think this should be a perfect place for one of them to spawn. Now I really haven't explored the nether very much. I, I've grabbed some glowstone before, but other than that then, I really have no idea where where a gas could be. This is going to take quite a while actually. Um, right, okay. Oh, oh, there's one. Get back here. Don't you dare go with that lava. Oh god. Can I can I hit back with this? Oh yeah, I can. Right. Oh my god, it's almost dead. I need to make sure I get the tear. Oh, yes, it dropped a tear. Fantastic. Okay. Awesome. It dropped two. Wow, that's super lucky. Sweet. So, now I have to get back home. Uh, safely and make sure that I am not hungry so then I can run <laughs> all right I'm gonna get home and uh, I think it was night when I slept it might be day because I've been here for quite a while but I'll um I'll make sure that I'm I'm all ready to make my sigil all right there's a the recipe we have feathers we have a ghast here I believe oh it's a reinforced slate all right, that's going to be easy, P easy peasy, I think, easy peasy. Let's grab ourselves some feathers. Do I have any feathers? Doesn't look like it. All right, it looks like this episode we're going on a quest to get some chickens. Let's get our hand glider. I'm so glad I made this early on because it just makes traveling so much more easier. And I think I saw a chicken over here. I haven't really explored out this way yet. Um let's let's just see oh also while we while I'm exploring um I actually made a mistake um on the statue last week uh I spelt Trinitas wrong on the sign but I fixed that and I'm sorry Lewis uh but quite a few of you in the comments plus Lewis pointed out and I fixed it so hopefully there there's no more mistakes but obviously I'm gonna make oh I'm gonna make mistakes uh time to time so it's amazing that you guys actually point it out a lucky block should I open it? <laughs> Why not? Oh, oh god. A block of gold. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright. Uh, we need to find more chickens because I've only got two feathers and I need six. I need. To... Oh, that's. Damn. Like, I don't actually kill chickens for feathers. I, I mainly, like, kill them for food. Alright, there's some pigs here. I'm not after you pigs, I'm after some chickens. Where would they be? Where would they be? I'm in like a lovely sort of pink biome. I think it's called like a cherry... Um, yeah, Cherry Blossom Grove. That's quite a cool name. Um, I can't see any chickens. <laughs> oh dear. I just need to find... Oh, I heard one. Where are you, chicken? I heard you. Oh, I think I've, I think I've lost. Whoa, that is a lot of marble. Is it marble? I think it's marble. Some sugar cane over there. A hobgoblin over there. Oh, oh! I spy a chicken. This might be the last one because I collected some feathers. Oh God, spirit! Spirit, come back! Yes. Where'd it go? No. No, please. Come on. Yes. Yes. There we go. Ectoplasm. Nice. Did it drop any feathers? No, we still need one more. Oh, are you serious? It didn't drop any feathers. Oh, there's one over here. Yes. There we go. Our final feather. Sweet. Alright, so we're actually quite close to the castle. I didn't venture out too far. 
uh, just sort of around this cherry by uh, cherry blossy blossy cherry blossom biome. Um, oh god, there's a creeper there. So hopefully we can make this sigil. But first I first need to make myself a reinforced slate. Do I have any slates on me? Yeah, I have 32. So that's what I was doing off camera. While the mana was um, like generating up, I was basically just doing blood magic and getting reinforced slates. Um, right, okay. So to get a reinforced slate, we need a tier 2 altar. And just simply put one slate in. That's it. And then that will uh, take the life points in my blood altar and turn it into a reinforced slate. And then finally we can get an air sigil. Finally using a bit of magic to um to increase life. That needs 2000, okay. Oh, there we go. One reinforced air slate. Air slate? One reinforced slate. Uh, simple. Uh, boom. Is that going to work? No. Let's just do this. Apprentice. Air sigil. There we go. Our very first sigil. Now, I could have made a water sigil. Well, I got a division sigil, but I could have made lava or water. But this is our air sigil. And obviously, we'll get that back. Now, how this works is that an air sigil will um, thrust you forwards, like so. I've also bound it to me, so that's good. Um, it will thrust me forwards using how much life points I have in my life network. As you can see, I'm just under halfway, so one thrust, one thrush, thrust is 50 life points. Now using this, and just spamming right click, I can obviously fly, but it uses up a lot of life points. Actually, if I just sort of, yeah, you can sort of see the bar going down. Oh, you know what, I can get the top of my castle. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, top of a castle. Now we can fly, guys. This opens up so many possibilities. It really does. Oh, okay, don't hit the floor too hard. Yes, there we go. I'm already a pro at it. Still remember, still remember. Um, right, I think I think that's everything. I think that's everything I want to do this episode. So the last thing I need to do is to update the Hall of Heroes. Now I've got a special person in mind for the Hall of Heroes this episode. Uh, let's just dump all this stuff away because I don't need most of it. Like that. I feel I feel like we've uh, achieved quite a lot this episode. Uh, but I do need to grab some gold. There we go. And let's head to the Hall of Heroes. Oh god. What? <laughs> oh god. The skins are offline. No, it's because I launched my Minecraft when I had no internet. So, the skins aren't there. Then they're, they're not there. All right, I'm going to have to fix this. So, I'm going to reload my game back when I do have I do have internet now, but I need to reload my game. So, I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, I've logged back in and I'm back. Look at these lovely statues, Lewis and Charlotte, Trinitas and Vida Raw, back with their skins. Uh, I just need to make sure not to launch my game when I don't have internet, because sometimes here at uni it sort of cuts out here and there. Uh, it does kind of suck, but... Alright, so we're going back to this side, next to Charlotte. We have someone, and I'm going to type in their name. Hassan, King Hassan. Now... I haven't actually mentioned Hassan in my channel before, um, but basically I run a very small Minecraft server just between a few friends and a few other players, and Hassan helped me build so much. He's a brilliant builder, he's amazing, uh, we've become good friends over the past like year, and um, I think he deserves a statue in the Hall of Fame. So Hassan, here you go, uh, I'm going to randomise to have... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna randomize so that we get a good statue for you. Go, uh, you. What have we got here? We got like a Superman pose. Oh my god! All these are so brilliant. I love them. Uh, I want to get. I've, I've got an idea for Hassan. Actually, Hang on. I've got an idea how I want Hassan's pose to be. Cause he's King Hassan and he's wearing a crown. Uh, I kind of wanted to have sort of like a a royal stance. Um, actually, that's, that's brilliant. 
That is brilliant. I love it. <laughs> and I'm just going to shift right click. There we go. Welcome, King Hassan. And to finish this off, I thought there's only one thing we can do to a king is give him a crown. There we go. A golden helmet. So he is now <laughs> wearing a crown. It is brilliant. And he is showing the world. So I need to grab myself a sign. Have I got any in here? No. Uh, I'll grab myself a sign. Put the name on um, Hassan's statue to make it official. And um, and yeah, there we go. That is the third person to be added to the Hall of Heroes. Now, I haven't actually shown um, any of um, Hassan's builds on my channel. But I, I want to in the future because they are amazing. He has helped me so much in the past. And um, there we go. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So welcome, Hassan, to the Hall of Heroes. There we go. So that is the third um, person. And I think it's a good place to end it there as it's night time. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching Guildcraft 2.0. Oh, let me take off my helmet. Actually, let's take off my armor for this. Thank you for watching Guildcraft 2.0. It really does mean a lot. All the comments uh, that you leave are super nice, really uh, helpful and suggestive. So make sure to leave your Minecraft username in the description, no, in the comments below. And I'll make sure to add it to my list for people to add to the Hall of Heroes. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and anyway, this is Gilton signing out. Bye!